Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews. Today we're getting our first impressions of The Work by Rivers of Nile. So, uh, Rivers of Nile, dropping The Work. We reacted to one, two, two videos from this album. And, oh yeah, the one with the bathtub guy. Yeah, the and bathtub guy. And the other one was guy. the trippy, the trippy psychedelic video. Yep. Yes, I remember. I don't remember the names, but I, think I one thought of them was both called, times were pretty good. I think one of them was Focus, and the other one I think was Clean or Clear, or something like that. Clean and Clear. What, Sounds it, like it was, it was Cream. It was either Clean or it was Clear. It was one of those two words. Is it Cream? Anyways, um, where Alice Know My Name was their previous album. It got two toe tags. We reviewed it on the channel. Phenomenal album. Everybody loves that album. I've heard mixed things about this one, and I'm scared. Because I've, I've seen people talking about this like it's a pile of dog shit. And I've also heard people saying, wow, Rivers nailed it out of the park again. Now I don't know what to expect. Well, because the two singles that they released, I was kind of like, liked them, but didn't love them. So now I'm like, uh, I don't know. Well, those two singles kind of set the tone for me. And I, I like that they set that tone because it's a tone completely different to where I was known with my name. This tone sounds like they're going more of a doom metal approach, and I think that's really cool for a band as artistic as this. Yeah. Now, with the popular opinion, I guess, being on both extreme ends, that can kind of help you just not really have any expectations, because it's like, okay, yeah. people are going to love it, people are going to hate it, what do I think? I don't know. It's actually a good place to be in my head, I guess. So we're going to listen to it for the first time in its entirety, and we'll be back to let you know what we think. Okay, we are back. Obviously, um, so this is a little weird because this album was both at the same time what I was expecting, but also different than what I was expecting. I know that sounds weird, the same the opposite thing here, but based on the singles, I knew this album was gonna sound different than what I know from this band because the singles sounded different, pretty straightforward. But what I was expecting was for me to still enjoy this album because I like the last album so much. On our first impressions, I did not enjoy this that much. I'm kind of siding with the people. Remember at the beginning I said some people said hot garbage, some people said it's amazing. I'm kind of in the hot garbage group right now. Which is sad to say, I don't like being like that, but this was... Very boring for me, very hey, blah blah blah. It's very proggy. I'm that guy, I'm not a prog guy. I thought the last album was proggy. People argue with me about that. People say, no, it wasn't really. It's like, you know what? There's elements in there. I feel progressive. This is a progressive metal band. I mean, eh, I don't know if they, I don't know if they are. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. But people did argue with me about that. I think you actually said, no, it's not really proggy when I mentioned it one time. But we can go back and visit that another time. I think you did. When we're talking about prog albums, I got two, two toe tags. I was like, oh yeah, we're all still my name. And you're like, well, that's not really a prog album. You did say that. He said that. Oh, I don't remember saying that. Anyways, um, this album's way proggier. It's like they amped it up tenfold, the progressive stuff. And I'm not about that stuff. It's not my cup of tea. But there are things that I did like about this. I'm not going to shit all over it. A couple tracks that stood out to me. Track number seven, more? Cause I, it's got a question mark on it, so it's more? You gotta, you gotta be louder with that. It's all cats, it's more? Yeah. Um, there's just some amazing guitar work and amazing drum work on that track. And you know what? There's good guitar work and drum work throughout the album. Don't get me wrong. There's good musicianship here, good vocals. It's there. But on that track specifically, two thumbs up for that. Um, the other track that really spoke to me was track number nine, Episode. Um, so a lot of these tracks start off as kind of slow, mellow, sad, ooh, kind of music. It's kind of the direction this album took. It's a sad album. It's supposed to be a sad album, but I didn't get that. But that's on a first listen. That's on a first listen. It's not fair to judge it on a first listen, but I was not getting into that sad, I was not getting that sadness that it was supposed to evoke. Maybe I'm too apathetic for it. I don't know. But there's other bands that play sad music and I can feel that sadness. I get into that sadness. I, that sadness is present in the, in, in the way I perceive the music. This did not give me that feeling. But the song episode, 
It starts off like that, but then it gets into some really cool grooves, some funky grooves. Um, not to say that it starts getting kind of happy sounding, but it picks up and then there's these really cool, uh, I, I wasn't sure whether to call them guitar runs or solos. It felt like it was going on too long to be a solo, but it and it didn't really feel solo-y to me, but I guess it was a solo. It was like a trade. It was it was like a good a solo trade that happened there. I, in my notes, I called it a run. I don't exactly know, know why, but I did. Anyways, a bit of an emotional roller coaster, which this album kind of is. Um, it goes up and down. There's obviously stuff there that's heavy. Um, there's, there's, there's parts where you hear the double bass just blasting away. That guy's feet must be on fire. There's, there's um, riffs that, you know, that'll kind of hook you a little bit. But overall, the main kind of vibe of this album is... That's what I got from it. I mean, okay, <laughs> well... I guess you kind of contradict yourself by saying that because you're saying, well, this doesn't sound like a sad album, but then... Oh, oh, like, sounds like sounds it's trying sad. to be a sad album. I mean, it sounds pretty trying sad to me. To I don't know what, hard. I don't know what your definition of sad is. Maybe you're some kind of alien that processes emotions differently. But this album is pretty sad. Um, I mean, it was interesting. I think, like, my first impression of this album is that it was pretty good, but it didn't feel great, you know? The last album, to me, blew me away entirely. Like, on a first listen, blew my mind. Yep. This didn't do that, but there were some tracks that did get to that same place for me. One of them being Episode. That is my top-rated track of the album. I felt like... Ooh, should we share that? Episode yeah. was the be- probably the best track on the album. This song is the emotional climax of the album. Now, and I noticed this early on, there is an emotional roller coaster going on, and I compared it to the likes of Loathe's album from last year, I Let It In and It Took Everything, where it's really kind of, it's got, it's overall a depressing tone, and it's just kind of going through the motions back and forth, like you're really just going through shit in your head. So I, I, I saw, I see, I saw a comparison there. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, I just kind of, felt a general direction similar to how that album went but with episode this was like this is where shit went down you know it was very sad and distraught it felt like a breaking point emotionally for whatever is happening i'm sure this is a concept album it's kind of what this band is like with their music at least i'd be surprised if it wasn't to be honest but the way that it goes Mm. And um, there was a moment where, like, there was a background guitar kind of effects going on while the bass is holding down the rhythm. That was cool. The solo trading was amazing. Like, those two solos, just oh, incredible. And then it, it breaks down really hard. Like, there's just, it's just, you're letting everything go with this track. And then the end, like, the solo that happens at the end, which is pretty quiet. It's kind of hard to hear, but, man, it does, it, it, oh. This track is just so powerful. And you have Maybe One Day, which is right after, which wasn't like a super duper standard amazing track, but I do like that that track is a really happy in its tone. Mm-hmm. And it, it gives you the duality of, you know, you kind of have an episode or a mental breakdown and whatnot. And, you know, once the tears dry up and the clouds, you know, move away, that sun is still up there shining. And there's still some gold, you know, at the end of that rainbow, per se. Yeah. So I really like that track placement and duality there. You have something so horrible, just brutal as episode, like emotionally, and then maybe one day kind of brings you back up, like mentally. Um, there are other tracks that I did really enjoy. More is one of them. That one was just, just brutal, hard, in your face, and it was just kind of out of nowhere tone-wise, you know? Yeah. Um, I also really liked both of the singles. Specifically, Focus, I liked a little bit more. Uh, There was this clean vocal in the chorus of that song, which kind of layers on top of the harsh vocal that I loved so much. Every time it happened, I thought, yes, that was great. There was some cool harmonies throughout the album, like that, some vocal stuff. Yeah, I like that too. So, you know, by by those descriptors, you'd think I'd love this album. But, you know, some of the issues I kind of have is that I felt that it was... It was maybe not being the most effective with its tone to a degree. I, this is a sad album. That's the direction they went. 
not exactly as doom metal as I had thought given the two singles. Mm -hmm. But you look at a track like Dreaming Black Clockwork and it's, you know, kind of mean and, uh, but it kind of starts to get a little droney and the ending kind of just, it was very, it started to get a bunch of, you know, very distorted at the end, which is a cool, just messy crap. Really. It's a cool <laughs> artistic thing to start distorting at the end of a track. I like that. But the fact that they kind of droned on for a while and it got really loud was not pleasant. And I was not a fan of that. And if you want to do something like that, I think that would be more effective to do late in an album, or maybe, maybe even the end of the album. The very perhaps. end, if anything. Something like that, but I'm not just track glad, two. Yeah, I'm just glad that that happened at the end of the song, so I could just skip skip the next to the next track when that part happens, because it's trash. The last, like, it's about a minute or something like that of the song, it's just garbage. It's just nothing there. There's no yeah. substance. But. As for other songs, I kind of just felt like they were just good. You know, there wasn't much that really spoke to me as much as songs like Episode, the singles and more but not to say they're bad they're still good but they didn't really feel like they they really jumped out at me and blew my mind as much as moments in those songs that i discussed yeah well another thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way i guess you could say is how soft the album was because you can have metal that's that's slow you can have metal that's mellow but it's still hard in a way it's got still got weight to it but songs like Wait, track number three, and even tracks like Maybe One Day, maybe not the whole song, so some of these songs are seven, eight, nine minutes long, but they almost feel like easy rock type of songs that you hear on like soft rock radio kind of thing. That is not something I want to listen to. I mean, for, for the song Wait, track number three, on my notes, I wrote that this sounds like something you might hear Michael Buble playing. Like... I'm not, I don't listen to Michael Bublé, I'm kind of familiar with the kind of sound he has, and that's the vibe I was getting listening to this song. Um, it's not badly performed music, it just doesn't really sit right with me as far as what I want to listen to. But you listen, when you said it's like you were expecting a more doomy album, I was too. But I feel like they were either too scared to really go there, or didn't know how to go there, or held themselves back in some sort of worry that they were going to disappoint people. Because I feel like they got, like let's say Doom met, like Doom is on a, like there's a certain level you got to cross to be Doom Metal. They got to that level and didn't pass it. That's what I feel like. They got down there but didn't quite jump over that fence. And you listen to bands like, like I don't listen to a lot of Doom Metal, but like My Dying Bride, um, some type of negative, uh, Woods of Ypres, that's like basically like my core Doom Metal, what I'm familiar with. Um, those bands go down there. They go down to this deep, dark, the deep, dark pits of emotion, and you feel something. At least I do when I listen to those bands. I feel like this album, Rivers of Nile, was trying to get there, but for me, they didn't. And that on a first listen, so it's not really fair for me to really say that right now because I have to listen to it more to really take it in. Well, I do think, like, that does make sense that they kind of tried to go a doom metal approach, but they didn't really go full on. Held back a bit, yeah. But I think perhaps part of why they held back a bit was just kind of just creative ideas. Like, I feel like they had some doom metal ideas, but they didn't really want to go full on, so they, they had more ideas as well that kind of just prevented it from being a full on doom album. However, they also kind of put their personality into the Doom genre, which is pretty interesting. That it's, That's a good point. It's Rivers of Nile, but with a Doom flavor. It's, it's not like they set out to make a Doom album. They're like, what if we make this Doom inspired? And very proggy as well. Anyways, guys, that's it for our first impressions of the work. We were going to listen to this album all week long. We're going to listen to it as much as we possibly can, as we always do. And we'll be back in a week to give you guys our full and final review of this album. So be sure to like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you kind of in between? Sound off. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. We'll see you guys on the next one. Keep those heads banging.